Hi everybody, it's Candy with Custom Queen Designs. I know it's been a few days, like a week since I've been up here, but had to get some supplies in, so I'm ready to start making it do what it do. And today we are going to be pouring a coaster mold. Uh, this coaster mold has a name. Her name is Belle, and I purchased her from a website called lkcreative.com. So we can get that to focus from Miss Belle. She has coaster molds on there, tray molds, all kinds of really nice molds that you can use for um, geodes or just regular coasters using mica powders, alcohol paints, acrylic paints, whatever you want to use. Um, I did one earlier called the Giselle. We'll show it to you in a little bit. Unless I'm, you want to go show them. I'm going to go show them. We'll go show them. Okay. Ooh. I poured that one earlier today. And right now it's just sitting there and doing its thing. It should be ready to be molded in the morning. Okay. So, she also has a Facebook page, by the way. Um, her Facebook page is The Creative Snobs by LK Creative. Awesome group. She does a lot of live tutorials, pouring the mold, showing you different techniques. I actually watched one of her, um, her lives tonight where she did the same mold and uh, she used pigment ink. I don't have pig pigment ink or paste. I have mica powders. I'm going to be using mica powders. And she used silicone oil. So I'm going to try pour using some silicone oil to see if it'll work for me. And hopefully it'll do what hers did because hers was gorgeous. So I'm just trying to recreate it. But I'm going to be using mica powders from Mica Mania. Again, she has some of the prettiest the mica powders. Mm -hmm. I've got Onyx. I'm going to be using fairy dust and I'm going to be using gold, gold pearl. pearl. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off mixing these micas into the epoxy. And I'm going to take a couple of these scoops. Some glare from the I hope the glare is not bothering you guys coming off of that, uh, that mold there. When you order from Mica Mania, she gives you these cool little scoops to help you with your mica powders. I like them. Ooh. Look what that fairy dust looks like when you put it in there. And then let me get the rich gold. So the first one you said was onyx, right? Onyx, fairy dust, and this one is gonna be rich gold. gold. Well, gold, gold pearl, pearl, excuse me. Yvonne, I apologize for saying the wrong name. This is gold pearl. And I'm putting two little scoopers of each color. And then we're gonna get mixing and pouring. So let me mix this onyx up. And again, everyone, I'm using Pro Marine Epoxy. Um, you'll find all of the links for everything that I've used, the, the mold, the mica powders, and for the epoxy, all in the description of the video. Okay. That's pretty. All right, and this is Fairy Dust. I'm going to go ahead and get this one mixed in here. This is really pretty. It's very pearly. It almost looks like uh, like the, the, that sheen that you get in like shampoo. Yeah. But better. <laughs> <laughs> I just want y'all to know I don't sit around uh, eyeballing shampoo. I'm going, ooh, pretty, I don't, I don't. 
still think I'm a weirdo. I'm not a weirdo. No, she's a weirdo, but she doesn't do that. You married me. <laughs> and now this is the gold pearl that I'm mixing up. This is pretty too. Mm -hmm. So I got some pretty, 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 pretty mica colors going on here. So if somebody's never never done this before, like what should they be trying to do? Mm -hmm. Like when do you know that you got it mixed in there good or something? I mean, it's... I just mix until I think that all of whatever I put in there, I scrape the sides to try to get all of that down. And I see that the color is all the way through. Mm -hmm. And that's that's about it. That's what, what I did. Um, I don't know if there's a special technique to tell if if it's all the way mixed through, but do your best. Just do your best. Mix it the best you can. Alrighty. So now we're gonna start pouring. We're gonna start off with black. These two off to the side. This is gonna go pretty fast because I wanna go ahead and get all four of these filled in. That was what messed something up. I don't like being a mess. And yes, I scrape my sides to make sure I get everything. I want all of my epoxy. Because anybody that does this knows epoxy is not cheap. So you want to make sure you get all of it. popsicle stick here and I'm gonna make sure that this goes around to all the edges yep this is not gonna do like when you have something on the turner where the centrifugal force and all of that makes it spread out huh well not that I'm aware of and make sure that you're on some on a table that's level because right now it's not feeling like this one is I made that mistake earlier and I had to go back and keep pouring clear in on my top when I did the flood coat on the top. So I'm probably going to stick some popsicle sticks under on this end. You think maybe, you no, know, because it's only, maybe it is. What? Maybe the, the paper bag that you have underneath? It might be. I just don't want to pour on the table. Not that it really would matter because my daughter has given me permission to to redo her table. So when I get some more practice. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert. When I get some more practice, I'm gonna, with some resin, I'm gonna decorate her table and make it look like marble or something, I hope. Spoiler All right. alert. My popsicle sticks here are not cooperating with me. Let's see if that helps. So. I think maybe on this one, right there at that point, you might want to push over the edge just a tiny bit. You mean with the popsicle yeah. stick? Yeah, because like everything else looks, every all the other ones, everywhere else you got epoxy going to the corners, but it's just like right there in that one little spot. Did I get it? Help. Right there in that corner. I know, I'm all pushing all the way up there. Did I get it? No, not yet. There's still a little Dude. tiny one back there. Stand up and take a look, man. Did I get it? Yeah, she got it. <laughs> okay, so next I'm gonna go in. There is no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. I'm just gonna see if it'll 
Oh, cool. We're gonna see what it do. Yep. What it do, baby? So I'm gonna pour some of that. And then I'm gonna pour. I'm digging this fairy dust already. And I do have my handy dandy heat gun. I sound like Blue's Clues. <laughs> well, I have my handy dandy notebook, so. Okay. And then we're gonna go in with some gold pearl. Gold. And yeah, I'm gonna do this with the popsicle stick because I wanna. Drizzle. Huh? Yeah, with this. Why not? And again, everyone, I might have over poured, but guess what? It'll be alright. Everything's gonna be alright. And if these coasters do not turn out the way that I hope they do, or as pretty as I hope they are, guess what? We're still gonna use them. Yep. Give me just a moment, folks. Just gonna pause it for a second and uh, get to the surge protector so she has some power. She's got the power. Diffuse a little bit. So I think it's very cool. Is it just me or does the heat gun smell? <laughs> you know how it is. Heat has a certain smell to it, you know? You turn on the oven even if there's nothing in there. Yeah, but it doesn't smell like this. The heat gun stinks. It's the heat. I don't I don't know. It's just like the, the heating elements. When they get hot, they smell I don't know, they smell a certain way. They I kinda like the way smell. that this is like I really, really like that. Into the middle. Mm-hmm. guys that maybe instead of the silicone oil because I'm digging the way that these are looking like this yeah I might want to throw I actually yeah, like I some like glitter in the middle yeah to kind of let's see if I can zoom out show them to you guys all at once yeah I like these very much wow light in there again. Okay. There's a glitter that I just picked up today from Mr. Noah's Glitter. I gotta get back over there because when I stand where you are, I get that light. See the package. 
Mr. Nola's Glitter. This is called the, excuse me, the Floofy Geode Mix. I just received this today Floofy. off of a Black Friday sale, so. Floofy. Not fluffy, floofy. And I'm just gonna go in the middle. So near, start sparkling like that ass. <laughs> like, ding. and if you notice, I'm going all the way around because I don't want the glitter to get anywhere else. Ew. I kind of like the way that's looking. See, I started off getting ready to try to do um, the silicone <laughs> and drop it in there to make cells. But then when I looked at it, I was like, oh, this looks kind of cool. And I wanted to try to put the glitter on it. I think with the glitter on it and then I do the flood coat on it, it's gonna look kind of cool. So, yeah. Try to get as close as I can and not get the lights glaring in there so you guys can see. Boom. Bam. Bam. It's kind of like it's got a gold shimmery. It's like the gold shimmer is coming to the middle. Now, the one thing I can say is I kind of lost the fairy dust in there, but it was more in the middle. So I think the fairy dust is kind of like lifting that glitter a bit. What I'm going to do is when I put, after I put the flood coat on these, um, I'm going to once they finish and I pop them out, I'm gonna take gold gilding paint, a gold gilding pen, and I'm gonna go around the edges with gold. And it'll really make them like pop and look, look a lot better. But next time, next time, I'm going to do this again, but I'm gonna use acrylic paints and epoxy, and then we'll use the, the silicone oil, and we'll see how that works. Yep, so thank you guys for tuning in with me. Uh, yeah, this definitely looks kind of cool. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, please, to my channel. And, and share. And share. We appreciate you guys. Later.